Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review for all of you new and existing Android users. So, for this review, I wanted to review a way to better maximize your home screen. Um, so if you're like me, you have very few um, app shortcuts, widgets, things like that. So in this case, I have just a regular 4x1 home screen. I have a few shortcuts for apps that I use regularly. Um, I usually just have a 4x1 weather widget, so for the sake of example, I'll stick that here. Um, so just a 3-day forecast, so it's just something like this. And then I have, for example, icon sweat set like this with Action Launcher, where um, swiping on my Feedly widget will give me Google News and Weather for headlines. Swiping on the my camera shortcut will give me um, the widget for a better camera. So um, I have the various camera modes. Swiping on Pocket Cast gives me the quick cut for some of its options, things like that. So it's pretty straightforward, basic, um, pseudo minimalist. But um, as you can see, I have a lot of unused screen real estate. I mean, what am I gonna do with all this uh, free space? Granted with my device, I have a five and a half inch screen. It's easier with all these icons being down here at the um, uh, bottom. But what if I wanna better maximize this, my screen real estate? So that's where Square Home 2 comes into play. What that is, is it's a Windows 10 style launcher for Android. Um, so you get kind of the best of both worlds. You get a tiled interface along with all the features, apps, widgets, and good stuff that you get with Android. So um, I've already set it as my default home screen. So as you can see here, I've already, I already have a custom uh, layout set up with some of the same shortcuts that you saw in my action launcher setup. So I have a 4x1 weather widgets, my email, Google Keep, WhatsApp, and the various few other uh, shortcuts going on. So it's a very straightforward uh, setup. So I'll jump go through some of the um, settings. So in order to adjust your settings, you do need to hold down on any one of the icons to remove it or um, hit the plus sign to add shortcuts. Um, I have the, my desktop uh, locked right now. So when I unlock it, you'll see that I can add home screens. Um, so a pretty uh, standard feature of Android Launcher. So I already have a, a shortcut for my um, um, app drawer, but you can also set a page for your contacts or if you want additional layout for widgets or things like that. Hitting the red track or the button with the trash can will let you remove a home screen and then you can add multiple other pages if you want. Um, so going back to my main home screen, so now if you guys scroll down, you'll see that I now have a plus sign so I can add um, app shortcuts or every, anything that you have installed. Um, you can do shortcuts so if you want a shortcut to directions, a document, your WhatsApp camera, um, settings or anything like that, you can do that. Um, you can do a shortcut to your app drawer so if you just want a button instead of uh, swiping or hitting your home button or anything like that, you can do that. You can set... Um, Divider. So if you want, let's say um, I want a little bit of space between my widget and my um, home screen icons and I can do that. Um, personally, I don't really want the space, but that's also a good option to have. Um, there's something called a cube. So you can, I, as far as I know, that's I think a group or uh, we can actually let's just set one up. But um, let's do um, a, a few few different apps so i guess actually i'm not quite sure what a cube does but um it's probably just a way to easily set stuff but um or it has various other options to if you want to easily change stuff and then of course you have your regular widget so you can you have full access to your android widgets but um Square Home also has um, additional features if you want. So if you want an analog clock, system monitor, battery widget, compass, or anything like that, that is available. So I will say that um, Square Home 2 comes in a free version, which gives you most features, but there are features that you can that are available for free for two weeks. Um, after those two weeks, you can buy the Pro Key for $3.99, or it's currently at $3.99 in Google Play which will unlock the rest of the features. So some of those, so you saw some of those um, additional features via the widget. So what you saw here, 
but then going into the your menu settings so when you pinch in you can you'll get your menu settings so if you hit this blue button and you go to home options you can um, adjust various other settings like behavior so if you want tablet mode if you want your page uh, font to look a little bit different um, if you want infinite scroll or 3d effects things like that are um, part of the pro version you can uh, change your tile color if you want use um, adjust your wallpaper um, change your app launching animation so instead of uh, flying in if you want it to fill sync rise up all of that so you saw that already or actually i don't think i showed that but let's say i open up pocket cast you see that um, fly in effect there but going in, back into um, the settings and let's say I wanted to instead of flying in I wanted to um, uh, let's say all rise up um, I'll go back and you see that kind of a fade kind of fade rising effect there so um, pretty nifty animations they're all pretty smooth um, of course that will depend on you the uh, performance of your device but um overall it seems like it's it has a pretty a low system resource usage so definitely worth it um you can set notifications on tile so if you use, have shortcuts like gmail whatsapp instagram things like that then you'll get a nice little number showing how many notifications you have so you will have to give square home notification access so for me that's not a huge deal i did that so i can get that and then you can also set which apps are allowed to show notifications. So if you want to disable certain apps, you can do that. Um, you can also adjust your tile style. So if you want to adjust the size, um, the column style, the icon size, um, whether you have the labels or not, text size for your um, shortcuts and things like that, that's also available. Um, you can also set shadows if you want. A rounded effect is part of the pro version. Um, you can adjust your uh foreground effect so um kind of a little bit of tint if you want that um I, you can also change the background effect for the tile so if you want so for example i have it set to blurred but if you want a solid um icon you can do that so you can see that change right there um, or if you want um no background then you can set that as well um i kind of like i like that blurred effect because i get a little bit of the my wallpaper and then um it keeps the tile in focus and then if you want to change uh, or there are certain colors that are available for default so if you do have the um, no background effect set and you want different tile colors you can set that on a per um, app basis so when you long press on an app icon and you click on the little settings button and you click style you can adjust the various style colors you have set there so for example if you want green for feedly and whatsapp blue for facebook red for Google Plus, Gmail, and Pocket Cast, and you can do that. Um, while I'm at it, on the tiles as, as well, when you long press and click on the settings, you can also set your long click action. So if you want to, um, for example, you have your camera shortcut, but if you want, or let's say in this case, I didn't, I don't have this widget right here that you see for what that says as HDR and all that for my um widget for a better camera but let's say instead of you having that widget i wanted to long press on the gallery to launch my camera then i can set it to application let's say i wanted to launch i want when i long press on my gallery to launch my uh, stock camera app um when you turn off edit mode like that like the pop-up said and i lock my screen so now when i long press it launches my camera so that way Let's say in this case, um, I prefer the video camera mode for the stock camera app on my device. So um, I'll still want that shortcut, but I don't want to use an extra tile. I can set it just like I did there, and I now have that option set. Um, going back into menus, though, um, that was, I think, the bulk of the tile size and style. So going back into... Um, icon style you can also set various icon packs so in this case I have a voxel icon pack but I also have these various other ones so a couple of them are built in with my device so dives icon pack and rifon is built in but if I want to use let's say the pixel icon pack I can use that as well and then you can de um, download other ones as well if you so choose so you have that customizable feature so if you want an outline or whatever else looks good to you then that is also available 
Um, I have uniform icon size, so everything, as far as I could tell, is the same or looks to be the same size. You can set background and foreground settings, so um, you have that available. As far as app drawer settings, um, you can set between a uh, regular grid and list type. So um, turning it off, I'll go over. And so um, the grid type is just your standard icon um, grids. So um, go. So if you prefer the square, then you can or a grid like that, you can do that. Or if you want a list, then um, you can check the list box and so now when you go back when i go back to my home screen it's a list so in this case i prefer the list um, because the icons are a little bit smaller and more fit to a page than by the grid view um that's the as far as i'm concerned i think that's the bulk for the app drawer um you can have vertical search so if you want to search through the app so um let's say you want to find a specific app so let's say in this case i want to jump to youtube but i don't want to Type, look, scroll all the way to the bottom, hitting the search box and touching Y will filter my apps by letters. Um, so, it, or in that case, let's say I want to search by whatever is in P, then I can do that and it'll filter everything in P and just show me that. So, um, that's a pretty nifty effect. It's not for me that it does, or the um, app drawer does uh, scroll pretty fast so I can get to the anywhere I want to easily. Um, so that does bring me to the uh, next feature, though, which is um, the keys and gestures, which allows you to set various um, shortcuts based on various um, things. So, for example, um, if you want, you can have your home key set to various things. So if you want to launch an application when you press your home key and you're on your home screen or you want a shortcut to happen, you can do that, but the launcher itself also has various options built in. So um, this is some of the various things. So I have a set to lock my screen. So when I'm on my home screen, I want to easily lock my device. I just press my home screen, device locked. But you can um, do a general search, open your app drawer, open a menu, open a pages manager, and various things like that. And the same thing with your back and menu keys if you have those. So I have do have back, so if I want to do have various other things. Um, I have nothing set for those because I don't really need it. But the feature I kind of am, am impressed with is the swipe down setting. So you have two here. Um, the first is swiping down on the left half of the screen, which is set to expand notifications panel, which was in the launcher actions. Um, but you can swipe down on the right half of the screen. So it automatically has that um, split. So it, knows, or it detects where you're swiping down. So I have mine set to do a search when I swipe down on the right half of the screen. So I'll go back. And so I'm swiping down on the left um, half of the screen and I have my notifications. Swiping down on the right side of my screen will give me um, the search. So um, I can do images, maps, uh, in-app search, videos. So let's say I want to do an in-app search for... Um, I don't know, let's say I want to do an in-app search for Rogue uh, One. Um, so I have um, that, and I, as you can see now, I have Facebook, IMDB, Instagram, Google Play, YouTube, all of that. Um, going back to all, so I have, that's more of a Google feature, but um, basically for me, having that swipe down effect um, allows me to um, do a quick search. So even if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to not go to my home screen and I wanted to do a search for YouTube, then I can do swipe down, do you type in YouTube, and I can now launch my app from here. Um, so that's basically the bulk of the app itself. Um, so if you do um, decide to set it up, you can also rearrange things. So holding down or assuming my I have my screen unlocked um, you can hold down on the icon and you can move it over so if I want to move it if I want an order like that then I can do that or move whatever um, order you want to have um, your setup in so this will kind of work for me um, since it covers the bulk of the um, apps I have a shortcut for um, I'm happy and then I can easily swipe um, left and uh, right to 
uh, get to my app, all of my apps, and then whatever I have favorited, and then I have my camera shortcuts I need. So um, the only thing that I would really be missing here is I did have an action launcher, a swipe to um, have my qu quick access to my steps. So um, I could even set, let's say, uh, um, uh, long, or I can have it set to press my back um, button to launch Google Fit or something. But um, it's not, I don't really need to check that out that often, so it's not something that I need regularly. But um, overall, I kind of like what Square Home offers. I mean, compared to um, my action launcher setup, which is a good launcher, does have the whole swipe capability on the icon so i'm using minimal screen real estate um but from here it's also nice that um i'm maximizing as much as much screen real estate as i can i have that uh blurred uh, glass effect for my icon so i have my wallpaper that i can look at and um i get my notification access as well so when i get new emails i can uh, well, granted, while I'm not having my um, status bar hidden, um, it's actually nifty because let's say I get a WhatsApp message, then it'll also notify or the tile will um, animate to show me that um, who I got the message from. So I don't even need to swipe down on my home screen. Um, it animates there. I don't think my Gmail widget did that yet, but... Um, or does that at all, but it's nice that uh, Gmail does that. Instagram at the moment seems to work with that when I have likes and notifications there. Same thing with Pocket Cast, where if I have been playing something, then it'll show that um, that it has its own notification. So uh, definitely a uh, good launcher. It's definitely worth checking out. The, it has plenty of free features, so it's definitely something worth checking out. And if you do some, want some of it, it's more... Um, or some of his other features that are in the pro version, then um, the three ninety nine price tag is um, definitely worth it. So um, that's all there really is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can email me at headphones new at, at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at Patel N01. You can find links um, and all of that good stuff on the website at Patel N01.com. Um, you can find this review and all other reviews on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. So if you want to learn a little bit more about Action Launcher 3 and some of its features that I like, some, uh, some of his interactions and what you can do with Action Launcher, um, I have a bunch of reviews on the YouTube channel there as well. So just look those up. I have them listed as act on, with Action Launcher and what features I'm reviewing and what it can do as well so if you want some of those comparisons like the swipe gestures and quick bar and um, some of those things like that then that's all there for you as well um, so that's all there is for this particular review thanks for watching and listening and until next time